All right, so I'm Beck Lane, and I'm looking very short in this video. I'm Beck Lane, and if you're watching on YouTube, this is Catalyst and Company, Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives, as well as our own, and we work at being the artist we've always wanted to be. If you're watching it anywhere else, I'm just Beck Lane. And where we are right now is Love Art Repeat Gallery. Love Art Repeat Gallery at 734 Central Avenue in Sarasota. And what we're doing is, why we're here is, tomorrow night is the opening of my first solo show in Sarasota. Not my first solo show ever by any means, but my first solo show here in Sarasota. And I've been here six and a half years. So uh, it, I'm pretty happy to, to finally be able to show show the artwork somewhere besides in my painting area to people on YouTube. Um, although I do appreciate you guys, it's nice to have it out, out in the world, a little bit further out in the world. So we've got one, two, three, four, we've got six paintings in, in this particular shot. We have Bessie Stringfield just out of range. Let's move this over just a little bit. There she is. Well, there's her motorcycle. Anyway, that's Bessie Stringfield. We've got two other paintings that are going up over to my left on another wall. And then we have uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 or 14 paintings in the other section of the gallery. So it's kind of a big show. It's about 19, no, it's 20 pa uh, paintings all together. And I still feel like I could fill this gallery up. Now, one thing, um, one thing I had to learn to do, especially when I was doing solo shows in the beginning, or doing any show in the beginning, was editing. Editing out. Looking at, the, looking at all the work and not thinking, I'm a genius, I'm brilliant. Look at how I painted Zenobia Clark. Genius. What, I want, what I've always strived to do in all my shows is look at the weakest paintings. The top paintings is fine. It's very clear which one I, which ones I want to feature, and then, but I take a, but then I take a really good look at what are the weakest ones, and how are they going to bring the show down, and I know which ones are the weakest here, and I'm not going to talk about it because it could be a painting that appeals to people. So, uh, but we did bring a painting up from the house today to hang, and I'm not going to hang it. It is my second portrait of Zora Neale Hurston. I don't care how much wall space we, we could fill up or should fill up or whatever, that painting of Zora Neale Hurston was the weakest link. That and one other painting that I'm thinking of. But when I looked at the original, You're the Weakest One in the Show, next to Zora Neale Hurston, I went, yeah, we're going to take Zora Neale Hurston out of the mix because I know that tomorrow night when we have the opening, that's all I'm going to be thinking about and thinking I have to make excuses for the many, many things I did wrong, why I did them wrong, how I did them wrong, and then hoping people can see what she could have been instead of what she should be. So we're eliminating that. That canvas is going to go back to my place. I'm just going to have to cover it up. I just made a convoluted mess out of it. I overpainted, I wiped it down, it's now got a glassine finish. There is no depth, there's no texture in the canvas, so I can't, I can't put it in the show. The last time this happened was when I was trying to prove a point about, the, about Michelle Obama, the Michelle Obama portraits uh, that are now in the National Gallery and also in the one in the White House, which I just hate so much. Um, I was trying to prove a point that we could do better. And then I turned around and made Michelle Obama's head gigantic. She was like bobblehead. So I took that out of the mix. I knew it was bad. I was trying to pretend it was good, but gigantic bobblehead Michelle was no good. So I painted over her and did another painting on top of it. That was months ago. It doesn't happen that often, but it happens, and it happens with everyone. I'm sure Norman Rockwell had this issue where he thought he had it down pat, and then, whoops, he just did not. So uh, it's okay. There is a point where you have to go, I'm not, you know, this is not my best. I'm going to ditch it. We used to, years ago, when I first started doing these videos, I used to, I did a couple of videos about throwing in the towel and also not throwing in the towel, knowing it's all fixable. Um, but I think sometimes you just got to give your, yourself permission to be human and just say, I'm, 
this is bad, time to go. So we, I weeded out that second Zora Neale Hurston. I'm going to do her again because I really love her face. But this, I'm going to, this time I'm going to pick a different pose because I really screwed it up. And we're not going to overpaint. We're not going to overpaint. Anyway, this, so here's part of the show. Again, this is Love Art Repeat Gallery at 734 Central Avenue. The entire show is black and brown figures, something I've never had the opportunity to do before, show them all, or show some of them anyway. I've never had an opportunity to have an entire show about my black and brown figures, my African American figures, but here we are. Now in the other gallery, as I said, there's whatever, 13, 14 paintings hanging up in there. At the center is Queen. Queen. Uh, one of the paintings I am the most proud of, and it would probably make sense for me to show you. But instead, we're looking in this corner because it's still vi viable. It's still valuable. There we are. Anywho, that's it. We're opening tomorrow night at 734 Central Avenue. The uh, reception is 6 to 9 o'clock. We will have wine and charcuterie because we're very, very fancy. Um, and that's it. All right, I'm Beck Lane, this is Catalyst and Company. We're moving forward. Yay, we're having our first show. And the people have been hanging in there with me. You know how much that means. You know how much that means. And this, I think, this is our, this, I think this is our fourth venue we're in this month in Sarasota. And then in a few weeks, I go to Art Ovation Hotel where I'm doing an artist reception, or doing an artist residency over there. I'll be painting every day from four to eight o'clock in the lobby, in this really cute corner of the lobby with a sink. And it's by a bar, so it's perfect. Not for me, but for other people. Um, but yeah, so that'll make five venues I'm up again. Since February, I've been up in multiple, multiple, multiple venues. And so in a couple of weeks, I'll be up in five venues total. And the links for all of this, all the information are down below, including links to my website, to my, inst to my link tree, so you can get to everything. And there we are. I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. I'm going to shut up now because I'm going to ride home with my paint and my stuff. All right. Ciao. Ciao. Carrie, we're here. We're here. We're doing a show. We're doing a show. Eric, we're doing a show. Let's put on a show. Ciao. Meow, meow, meow.